last winter was a little bit unusual in spots. For instance, scenes like this, snow cover, and not just a little trace, some spots picking up 6 to 12 inches along the Gulf Coast. A major historic snowstorm, while other spots well to the north saw hardly any of that snow all winter long. All right, winter forecast preview time. Meteorologist Brian Ivey here for Norcast. We're gonna take a little look inside what happened last winter for right now and then get to the snow forecast and the precipitation forecast. We actually had some cold from the Northern Plains into the Northwest. There was a little pocket of warmth across the desert Southwest. A lot of Canada was fairly warm, especially across Eastern Canada. But the eastern half of the country kind of broke that spell of not having a very warm winter. It was overall fairly typical across a fairly decent amount of the country. So as far as the whole nation, nothing really too much to write home about, except for look at that area of snowfall. I mean, even into like Oklahoma through Tennessee into the Carolinas, a fairly typical amount of snowfall, but not much of an increase as you head all the way north to like Chicago and Detroit. So below average snow there, not a ton of snow into the Northern Plains. Some spots in our lake effect zones across the Great Lakes picked up plenty of snow while others did not. Not a ton for portions of the East Coast and the mountains did pretty well, especially up into the Pacific Northwest. So what is gonna be the difference really between last winter and this winter. We'll talk about that. But this has been a continuing trend. Look at how much of this orange area across the country signifies a lot less snow versus rain when precipitation falls in the cold season between November and March. The East Coast and West Coast have seen increases going back to the 70s, but that's been because of maybe a handful of more blockbuster type years. Drought conditions across a pretty big portion of the West right now, it's starting to increase drought-wise across portions of the Mississippi, Tennessee Valley into the Ohio Valley. We'll see how much of an impact that is likely going to be as we go towards winter. Also, La Nina is forming. This is the cooler water in the subtropical equatorial portions of the Pacific Ocean. Well above average temperatures across portions of the Northern Pacific Ocean. That will play a role as well. We're seeing some upwelling across the Atlantic at this time. So typically in a La Nina type setup, you have the colder weather that comes down at times from the Northwest and you're pretty warm consistently across much of the South compared to average. Obviously it's not cold for a long stretch of winter time during the South. So we're gonna continue to see maybe the chance for some pretty cold air across the Northwest, maybe even into the Northern Plains. If we look at analogs or historical years that had some similar signals in the ocean and atmosphere to what we're expecting this year. But plenty of warm air across much of the East Coast, down into the Deep South as well, looking back at the analogs. We take a look at the past, we take a look at future cast models and some other different proprietary traits as well when putting this together. So it looks like below average temperatures might extend from the Pacific Northwest through Midwest, through Great Lakes maybe even, we'll see. While it's gonna be pretty warm, all the way back into portions of the West, but certainly across a pretty big portion of the South and even up into the big I-95 corridor cities. Now, when we look at some different seasonal forecast models, you can see that that trend is gonna be pretty typical if you look at the blend between a couple of the different models that have at least some cool air coming in to portions of the plains. We'll see. This is the wild card spot here across the Great Lakes. How far does that cold air consistently interject into the Ohio Valley or how often does the warm air spread on in? That is a spot that could be below average, could be above average. We like the signs for enough cold air to get in there at times, maybe just not well below average. Um, is it going to be warm across the whole country? I don't think so. The signals aren't really going to showcase that too well, but it's, we've had those years. We have, it's true. Pacific air, mild, high pressure into this area. Sometimes this can cause that negative phase of the EPO. And if there's enough of a cold source across the Arctic, across the polar regions, you will get a nice dump into portions of the northern tier of the United States, sometimes potent enough even to be well, well south that we saw that a couple times last year. Will we get this again? I, I do think at times that setup is definitely going to be there. 
So what does this mean when it comes to precipitation? What does this mean when it comes to snowfall amounts? Let's kind of forward things into that. Wow, a big area of above average precipitation reaching across much of the middle portion of the country, even into portions of Pennsylvania, maybe the Montreal area, plenty into the Pacific Northwest, definitely drier across the deep south. So you got cold air here, right? So when you mix that together with above average precipitation, you're gonna see above average snowfall into the Northwest, including portions of the Rocky Mountains across the Northern Plains, upper Midwest. Could it be Chicago with above average snow? Probably not for the big cities though, again this year along the East Coast and probably not far south with above average snowfall. A little bit more of a localized view as we scan across the country showcasing that Omaha, Chicago, Milwaukee could be above average, but maybe Wichita into the Arklatex, not so much. Indianapolis is probably that wild card zone, but yes, we really could see above average snowfall in portions of Michigan this year. We'll keep an eye on it. That's for sure. And then again, probably Philly, New York, Boston, not so much. So wildcard areas along the I-70 corridor um, into the interior northeast, depending on exactly how much cold air we get, how much lake effect will spin off. We'll keep a close eye on it. But winter preview for now, we'll have a more detailed winter forecast as we get closer to the season. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you want accurate weather services, we would love for you to check out our weather consulting for snow and ice management purposes as well. Take care. Thanks so much.